CKXTV, serving Western Manitoba and Eastern Saskatchewan. Different sales strategy. Look, here's one that always worked for me. Mister, I was going to sell you some cookies, but I tripped on your driveway and I think I broke my ankle. <laughs> Could you please call my daddy? He's a lawyer. He'll know what to do. Yes, officer? Those fruit-shaped tricks? Yes, sir. With lemony yellow, raspberry red, lime green, orangey orange, and grapeity grape? Yes, sir. Tricks do taste fruity. Silly rabbit. Yeah, tricks are for kids. Yes, sir. Robin, watch out! Take that, Joker! Ha, ha, ha! Now the penguin can't hide in the dark, Catwoman. Cool. Batman Glow in the Dark Rubdowns, one set free in these specially marked boxes. So just the other day, my dad says, Hey guys, let's have pizza! Then he asked me what I want on the pizza. So I said, everything. Lots of cheese, pepperoni, spaceships, cars, balls, a helicopter, mushrooms, slides, pots, people, race cars, robots, games, hoops, a mouse. You know, it works. They got pictures. Chucky e. Cheese, where a kid can be a kid. It's new, it's wild, it's CKND Kids TV, and the winning is easy. To enter, kids, just send in your name and address, your phone number and date of birth to CKND Kids TV, and include your favorite picture of you. You could see yourself on TV, and Kids TV gives away something every day, seven days a week. CKND Kids TV, it's the place. At Participation, we've been out talking to some very special Canadians, finding out how active living ties people together. Like we've all known each other for, what, 25 years? For the sisterhood, active living is the bond of this long-running friendship. Jogging of the lips. <laughs> and the hips. It's like a resurge of energy that you need, and you get that in the physical demand and then the release, you know? In the words of the sisterhood, friendship is a lifelong exercise in good times and in bad. My son was critically head injured in a car bicycle accident and was in a coma for close to a year. And it was a, the first tragedy, I think, the first really awful thing that had ever happened to any of us. And with our children, etc., it really brought us all together. Yeah. It's and a it's family. Yeah. Sometimes when you're tired and you don't feel like doing physical activity, but you have a group to support you, you will go. And it's fun. You can choose the activity that best suits you and get the physical and emotional benefits. We've shared uh, hard times together and we've shared a lot of fun. And uh, I, I'm committed to that and it's one thing that's part of my life and always will be. And these people always will be. Active living, sharing, friendship, part of your life. Participation, moving your way every day. That's me, Donald O'Connor, starring in Singing in the Rain. Make him laugh, make him laugh, make him laugh! Yes, folks, 65 years in show business, and my feet haven't failed me yet. My ears, however, aren't what they used to be. And that's not so unusual. One out of ten of us has a hearing problem. The good news is that most can now be helped medically, surgically, or, like me, with hearing aids. So, if you suspect a hearing problem, arrange for a checkup now. There have been significant advances in the hearing field, and there are also many hearing health care professionals who can help you. For more information, call toll-free, the Hearing Helpline, at 800-EARWELL. That's 800-EARWELL. Or write to Hearing, Box 1840, Washington, D.C., Two zero zero one three. So stay on your toes and discover a world of better hearing. We'll be right back with more Goof Troop. <laughs> Guess what? What? Can you keep a secret? Maybe. What is it? Come here. Look. Wow! See? Isn't that neat? What is it? I don't know, but I found it first, so it's mine. What's that up there? Is that cheese? 
could be. It sure looks like something to eat, doesn't it? Hmm. I wonder how this works. Hey, hey, it, don't touch it if you don't know what it is. Why? What's wrong? Well, I'm not sure. I just think that if we don't really know what it is, we shouldn't touch it. It might hurt us. Well, then what should we do? I know that some things are okay, and some things are not. And I think if we don't know, we should ask. Ask who? Somebody who knows about stuff like this. Oh, you mean like Mom or Uncle Fred? Yeah, or somebody else we trust. We don't have to be afraid, but we do have to be careful. Just because somebody leaves something lying around doesn't mean it's okay for us to play with. Well, I found it, so I get to tell first. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Reach your home. <laughs> A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. I'm back for more adventures with Disney's Goof Troop. Disney's Goof Troop will return after these messages. Hello. I have a lovely story to tell you all about a family of raccoons. Once upon a time, there were three raccoons living in a forest. Mommy, Daddy, and Baby. And one day, they all went out to play in the sunshine. Baby raccoon was so excited, he was running this way and that jumping and tumbling. Then the baby saw some wild berries on a bush. They were very shiny and looked very tasty. Baby raccoon was about to eat one when mommy said, careful baby, some berries are not for raccoons. They might give you a tummy ache. Baby raccoon did not want a tummy ache, so he left the berries alone. Then he saw some big mushrooms growing by a tree. They looked very tasty too. Baby raccoon went closer, but Daddy said, Careful, baby. Some mushrooms are not for raccoons. They could make you very sick. Baby raccoon did not want to be sick, so he left the mushrooms alone. And just like animals in the forest, you need to be careful, too. Only take medicines or drugs if Mommy or Daddy says it's all right. And never take drugs from people you don't know. The next thing baby raccoon saw was a big apple tree. He asked his mummy, Can raccoons eat apples? Mommy said, yes, baby, we can eat these apples. Baby raccoon was so excited, he found a nice, big, juicy apple and danced all around it. Remember, children, some things are good for little boys and girls, and some things are bad. That's why you should always check with someone you love before you do anything that you're not sure of. Baby raccoon says, be careful, children, and only touch things that are good for you. And mummies like me want you to be careful, too. Bye-bye for now. Now back for more of Disney's Goof Troop. Don't go away. Disney's Goof Troop will be right back. Telling you, don't put that in your mouth. Let's find out. Hi, Hi. kids. Why are we on television anyway? We're here to tell a little story about why you shouldn't put things into your mouth when you don't know what they are and why you should never take anything a stranger tries to give you. Why not? Because if you ate somebody else's medicine, some bad food, or some poison, you could get very sick. Ugh! I don't want to be sick! And that's why before you eat anything, you should always ask someone you love if it's okay. Okay! I love you. Can I eat the guitar? No. Oh. But, but you can help me sing a song about eating things that don't belong inside you. Okay. I wasn't really hungry anyway. Well, wait. Maybe a little bit. Okay, everybody. If you see something that you want to eat before you do anything, remember this song. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you stuff it in your face. Don't stuff it in your face. Though it might look good to eat. Though it might look good to eat. And it might look good to taste. And it might look good to taste. You could get sick. Yuck. Real quick. Yuck. Real sick. Real ick. Don't you put it in your mouth. Uh-uh. Till you ask someone you love. That's right. Remember, boys and girls, never take anything from a stranger and don't put things in your mouth when you don't know what they are. If you eat somebody else's medicine or some bad food or some poison, you could get very sick. Yeah. Always ask someone you love before you put anything in your mouth.
This is a CKX Pulse News Update. It's 4.59. Good afternoon. I'm Darren Traeger with the latest from the Pulse Newsroom. Friend and Ladies, Bondsville wrapped up yesterday with the championship final and the event finals at the Riverview Curling Club. Brandon's Lois Fowler claimed another championship. And the Manitoba Curling Association Bondsville continues today in Winnipeg. The tankard will have a new champion, though, as Vic Peters was eliminated from MCA contention earlier today. Ralph Bagley will report on the MCA 620 tonight on 1150 Kicks. It's back to work for NHL players as they get set off from the All-Star break. Three of tonight's seven games are at neutral sites, including a Vancouver-Edmonton contest at Sass Place in Saskatoon. Calgary takes on Los Angeles in Phoenix. Buffalo meets Tampa Bay in Orlando. Montreal will head to Florida. Boston also plays at Hartford. Dallas receives New Jersey and it's St. Louis in Anaheim. We'll have more in just a moment. Both the Buffalo Bills and the Dallas Cowboys are flying to Atlanta today. They are preparing for Super Bowl 27. That game is set for Sunday in Atlanta. Stay tuned, you won't you? We'll have these stories and more coming up on Pulse News in one hour. You're watching CKX-TV, serving Western Manitoba and Eastern Saskatchewan. What would the world be like if everything had the great taste of honey and graham like you get in every bite of Golden Grahams? Outstanding! Golden Grahams is part of this complete breakfast. Why doesn't everything taste as great as Golden Grahams? Mm. Robin, watch out! Take that, Joker! <laughs> now the penguin can't hide in the dark, Catwoman. Batman Glow in the Dark Rubdowns, one set free in these specially marked boxes. How about a little lunchtime tradesies? Okay, but all I got left is this jello pudding snack. Jello pudding snack? No way! Uh, I'll give you a crunchy canola bar. Come on, this is jello we're talking about. Okay, okay, I'll give you my best left winger. Mm. And marry all of you? It's a deal! He scores! I got jello. You get two NHL superstar action cards inside specially marked packs of jello pudding snacks. Sixteen to collect. In our endless search for fun fruit roll-ups, you should see what we roll up with. First, we invented humongous rolls, but that idea fell through. Then we thought kids would get a bang out of exploding rolls. Unfortunately, they did. Finally, a really bright idea. Hot colors fruit roll-ups. Electric yellow, blazing orange, sizzling red, screaming green. Hot colors, a berry blast of amazing color. Hot colors fruit roll-ups. What fun fruit roll-ups will we roll out with next? Hi, I'm Margaret for Kids TV. At the Durham Karate Institute, kids are learning the art of self-defense. Karate is a great way to get fit and learn self-defense. Through a series of exercises, the sensei or teacher helps the students learn the technique and agility needed to perform the difficult task. Through a colored belt system, the students advance in a similar fashion to exam. Different colored belts signify different levels of achievement. What kind of karate lessons do you teach? In martial arts, we teach your Kempo Karate, which uh, comes from Chinese background. And it's going back thousands of years, back to the Buddhist monks. I asked the sensei what kids are getting from karate, and if there was...